Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the relative minimum and relative maximum for the following function that you see here uh, using the TI-84 calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the calculator here and let's just hit number two, continue. Okay, so first thing is we're going to take this function and type it into, into here where you see this. Um, so I'm going to assign that to y1. So we have 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x. Okay. So we typed in our function. It's being saved into y1. And now we just go over here, hit graph. All right. And, and there is our function, right? There's the graph of the function that we have here. So what we want to do is figure out, okay, where the relative maximum and where the relative minimum are, okay? So if you look over here, right, so you can see that there is a relative maximum. Remember, that is where the function is going to increase, then it starts to decrease. And it looks like there's another one down here where the function is decreasing, and then it's going to increase. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to, I want to capture that relative minimum okay so the way you do that is go to window and i want to make sure i capture that point so that means i need to adjust the y value specifically the the minimum y value okay because right now it's on minus 10 so let's see what happens if we put it at minus 20. so Okay, so it looks like it does capture it. Um, just to be on a safe side, I'm going to change this to from minus 20 to minus 25. Okay, so very good. All right, so we have a relative maximum there and a relative minimum here. Remember, relative maximum is where that is going to occur, where the function's increasing, then decreasing. Okay, and relative minimum is where the function is decreasing, then increasing. Okay, and notice both of those points, the relative maximum and the relative minimum, occur at the uh, what's called the turning point. Okay, so let's first figure out the relative maximum. Okay, so the way you do that, you go over to second calculate, and you see maximum. So you're going to scroll down. Okay. So you can either select four directly or you can just scroll down and hit enter. Okay. So it's going to ask you for left bound. Okay. So you want to pick a point to the left of that turning point, specifically for the relative maximum. Okay. So I'm going to pick something over here. And so, okay. So hit enter. And then it's going to say right bound. You pick something to the right of the relative maximum. Okay, so, so we can enter this point. And then it's going to ask for a guess. So you don't need to move this cursor. Okay, you don't need to move this point. Just hit enter. You can use that boundary point as a guess. And there it is. Okay, the relative maximum occurs at minus one. So yes, there's a little bit of rounding error here. Okay, so if we round to, let's say, three or four, decimal places then this will be minus one and the relative maximum is seven okay so remember the x value is where the relative maximum occurs and the relative maximum itself is seven okay so we can go ahead and find the relative minimum okay so, so we go back under second calculate select minimum or you can select option three and the relative minimum is down here, so we can pick a point to the left. So there's the cursor, so we can actually use this point up here. That's fine. And then we're going to pick a point to the right of this relative minimum here. Okay, so, so you want to make sure that you go far enough away, okay, just to be on a safe side. So let's put this over here. So that should work. Okay then it asks for the guess. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to, you can just use that boundary as a guess, okay? 
And notice also these arrows that show up, that tells you, right, that's basically the points that you selected, okay? It corresponds to the X values uh, that you selected, okay? So so our relative minimum is going to be, it's going to between, um, be between this X value and this X value. Okay, so let's hit, let's select our guess. And there it is. Again, there's some rounding error. So let's assume that we're rounding this to three or four decimal places. So the minimum, so the relative minimum occurs at two and the relative minimum value is minus 20. Okay. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, so you can get out of this by hitting or by selecting or second quit. Okay. All right, and so that is how you find the relative minimum and relative maximum uh, using a TI-84 calculator. Okay.